the morphing of a March Hare. Throughout time, children have fallen in love with the stories of Lewis Carroll. They daydream of silly tea parties with Alice, the March Hare, and Dormouse, and invent their own, hosted by the Mad Hatter. But dream no more, for now you can have tea with these guests. A sculpture is being created for Evelyn's Park in Bel Air, Texas, just outside of Houston. The installation is scheduled for fall 2016. Sculptor Brigitte Monjon has designed the scene and uses both traditional and digital processes in her work. She shares her secrets of these techniques in a new book listed as a number one new release on Amazon and coming out September 28, 2015. Now let's follow the morphing of a March Hare. The artwork starts with a concept design to help the client see her direction. This is created using several software programs such as Poser, Daz, ZBrush, and Mudbox, and Photoshop. With a commission secured, the artist works out her designs traditionally in clay. In Brigitte Mongeon's Wonderland, the figures don't change size with cakes and drinks. No, they do it digitally. Brigitte 3D scans Alice and her friends with a Next Engine laser scanner. After the sculpture is complete, Smart Geometrics will come in and scan the entire scene for data preservation and repurposing of the art. The artist then revises the scanned model more in ZBrush, and then she has a 3D print made by 3D RP in California. Then Alice and her friends jump down the rabbit hole into a virtual world. The March Hare finds himself in Synapsis Digital Services in Oklahoma, and Alice and the Mad Hatter are across the board creations in Canada. Each vendor will slice up Brigitte's sculptures into pieces, morphing the parts as Alice was morphed in Wonderland. The artwork is sent through the computer with code to a computer numerically controlled or CNC milling machine to be milled in foam. A rough cut gives the March Hare a general shape and then a final cut adds detail. The March Hare is then sent back to Monjon's studio and Brigitte begins the challenge of putting together the puzzle. Slowly, Alice and her friends will grow to eight feet tall. Then the artist will carve on the foam and add detail in clay and hide 150 elements in honor of the 150th anniversary of the story. The artist will be working very long hours in her Texas studio to bring Alice and her friends to life. It won't be long and the characters will play with families and have tea at Evelyn's Park in Bel Air, Texas. You can follow along with the artist and her process at the Finding Alice page on Facebook or at the blog on the artist's website at creativesculpture.com. The Evelyn's Park website will also have further information and fun things for educators and families. To learn more about Brigitte's new book, visit digitalsculpting.net. And if you have questions about using digital tools in your studio and going through your own digital world, Ask these questions or post your work on the 3D Technology and Fine Art and Craft LinkedIn or Facebook pages. Curiouser and curiouser, if you're interested in learning more, after January 2016, Brigitte will be done sculpting and will be sending the sculptures to Shadoni Foundry. And then, should you have an audience that would like to learn more about 3D Technology and Fine Art and Craft and the Alice Project, she can visit and everyone can jump down the virtual rabbit hole together.